Arnold Nyandwa. Welcome to Africa 54. Thank you so much, Paul. It's my pleasure. I've heard a lot of uh, good things about you. You are the new kid on the block. Uh, everybody is talking about uh, your amazing uh, innovation, how it's changing lives, how it's uh, how you are empowering uh, the whole uh, uh, community with uh, uh, your stuff. Can you tell us a little bit about uh, uh, your invention, please? Uh, my journey started way back when I was 16. Uh, I started as a dream uh, and passion to solve local problems. But these local problems specifically were specifically influenced by two factors at the beginning uh, before we diverted into the entrepreneurship space. Uh, these local problems specifically were the 2015 uh, load shedding, which is an energy deficit we had as a country. And um, the other one was uh, every time I'll travel to my village, I'll see women cooking on firewood. And that just had uh, an mm. impact on me to say, I need to change this cause. I had to think of something that I can provide to the local people. And I built, by then it was called a Juvin Brazier, named after my parents, Justine and Vincent, before it changed to a stove. And uh, therefore in 2020, we embarked, I embarked on another Invasion, which is the first of its kind uh, in Africa, the stove, uh, the Juvin stainless stove now, which is uh, a three in one stove that uses gas, electricity, and solid fuel. On one product, 12 bolts and 12 nuts that allows you to assemble it and dismantle it. You can use it for outdoor purposes and indoor purposes. You've also won several international awards as a result of uh, your innovation. Has that changed uh, who you are? Has that inspired you to do even more, to be a better uh, entrepreneur, a better innovator? Interesting part about awards, they are, they are really good having awards, um, but sometimes awards can act as a distraction uh, to, 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 to more especially the founders of companies because the news and the media sometimes and also the awards can excite you. But that has changed my life in a number of ways because I've been able to finance certain uh, uh, movements or certain uh, things within my company, Venturas Jumpstart, through the same awards. It has also given us a lot of credibility as a company and a lot of people are wanting to associate with us. And of course, it just bringing new opportunities towards the work once you win an award. How big is your market in Zambia, for example? We have specifically two products. We have the one for biomass, for solid fuel. That just functions. The seven in one, the first version, just that it's improved. And we have the most latest thing, which I like calling the international product, the three in one stove that uses gas, electricity, and solid fuel for the international market. But uh, in the next uh, few coming years, I'm not only seeing myself being in Zambia, I'm seeing myself being around Africa, crossing to Europe. And now, since we are producing the stoves, we'll be producing the stoves from Asia. We're seeing also tapping on also having uh, a share in the Asian market. Because they have, all these years, we've been having foreign uh, products from the Western world influencing our continent. But this, it's a time, it's a high time also we go there and we also participate in the other market, including there in the U.S. Earlier you talked about how you were able to get some support from uh, uh, the president of Zambia, Mr. Edgar Chagwalungu. He connected you to different partners and you're able to bring this product to the marketplace. Do you think governments should play a role in supporting young entrepreneurs. So the, the president uh, came through in terms of the, the endorsement for us to go ahead with the partnership. The government has a lot of role to play in terms of policy and just uh, protection of its citizen and just to be there to support because they have to provide a conducive environment for business operations and just uh, to be able that uh, there is uh, good, uh, friendly policies that enable business to thrive. So they have a very, very, we can, you can, we can, never, we can never do it on our own. Thank you so much for your time. Um, I'm very much grateful for, to VOA. I, I grew up watching this, this, this channel and 
just to be here today, it's a dream come true for me. So thank you so much for having me.